Okay, I'm back and I uh, actually got, apparently I picked up quite a few uh, good stuff. And also, oh, wrong one. Uh, I also managed to save up enough money to get the Spectre Great Stone. Doing those little side missions. So, yay, cool. Alright, now that's done, we're gonna head up to Pharaoh's to do a main mission. Uh, we can check out that system later. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard. This is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facility's weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I actually remember that one, the Rogue VI. It's actually uh, the mission that actually gets mentioned. Uh, and then, not in the next game, not in Mass Effect 2, but in Mass Effect 3. Yeah, it comes up in Mass Effect 3. really fascinating and it's actually a good one to do because uh, it unlocks another build tank another uh, thing which just gets a machine but right now we're gonna go to Pharaoh's And I tell you guys right now that parts of Mass Effect remind me of another game, uh, Metroid Prime. I don't know why, it just reminds me of that game. Alright, with this I'm going to bring... Tally, because this is a guess and stuff like that, and gosh. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Log, the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Alright, let's check it out. Let's 
star button to the god. Rogue VR. Head to the soul system in the local cluster and do uh, the rogue VR and the Earth's moon. Cool. Six points. Ah, uh, so I'm not carnage. Master Overload. And. Actually, no. Carnage. First time. There we go. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look out! I bet you didn't pay attention to Garrus when he said look out. Uh, I switched back to chemical rounds. Chemical rounds seem to work for me a lot better than those fire rounds. Well, we got the first. That's what I call them, because they leap off walls and stuff. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Protect the heart of the company! Yeah, they're guys. They got these guys in the West. Yeah, 
you get out of here. Nobody wants you. We should update Vidan on the situation before we move on to wherever the Gether bunker. He's the closest thing left to proper channel. Alright, we leveled up. Uh, yeah, I was gonna spin off Spectre training, wasn't I? Yeah, so boost that all the way up. I just remember that. I uh, might as well unlock that. You never know, might need it. Ooh, medical interface. Oh, that reminds me. I actually found the medical uh, interface uh, forward and I equipped it to the shop. But as a matter of fact, I might as well equip that to, to somebody else too. Because the medical interface, especially the toxic resistance, they'll come in handy during this mission. What are you? Are you a radioactive? What about you, Tally? Oh, you don't have anything. Uh, it's a good thing I do. I have chemical rounds on my snapper, but I don't use it very often, so I'll remove that. I give it to Tally. So she's using the shotgun. We already have radioactive rounds and chemical rounds for pretty much the same thing, so. Either one works. Ah, ha, ha, darn it. Yeah, when the stuff that wasn't particularly valuable, what I do is just when, when I go to sell stuff, I usually sell stuff that either costs like one, like 500 or more. And then I sell that stuff, and then the rest I just break down into Omni Gel. The tower's secure, thanks to you, Commander. Just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we need. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us worked for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny Headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus' hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. 
I'm sure they know a lot of things you don't been up have my confusion network. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now. But getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. These colonists may not have much, but this is their home. They will fight to the death to defend it. This place is a mess. Yeah, it is a bit of a mess, isn't it, guys? You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she space-worthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Phi Dan. He knows the colony better than me. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> Nothing else. She's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics is nothing. I, I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on? I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. No, I, I need to get back to work. Hmm. Seems like she didn't want to poke my nose into her business. I don't blame her. I wouldn't want someone else to poke them no nose in my personal business either. Ooh, terminal. Really? Right away? The... Uh. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize that that was like a, a thing to read. I passed right by it. Oh, well. I was too busy angry at myself for messing it up. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we are totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know. Uh, I mean, they are very important. Yes, that's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I am fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from, from the last attack. I'll be fine. I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. You'll have to forgive my wife. Calantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Do you know anything about this planet? 
Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. Even more spectacular with the fact that both your hair and eyebrows are different colors? What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You best ask Pai Dan if you really must know. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Pai Dan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, I can't think of any reason for an attack like this. We just wanted to build a home. I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid meat. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. <laughs> I get someone just like that. His name is not Rex. Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Why should I speak with Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Tell me about hunting Baron. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the gap. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big alpha baron is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. <laughs> Just like Rex. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the gap. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. I have to go. So long. can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. You know where to find the problem with the water. The colony can't afford to lose any more of us. We're just too vulnerable. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony, before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Fidan or one of the others. Tell me about yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, leave it to my work. I have to go. I wish you luck. Nice work with those Geth. I'm glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator. Cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. What can you tell me about Zoo's Hope? A fascinating place, by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here, too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here, I will stay here. This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fidan? 
Maybe he can tell you what I can. What can you tell me about Zeus Hope? A fascinating place by all accounts. Oh, oh, yes, I like it here too. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here, I will stay here. How do you keep things in stock in conditions like this? My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks, and few of those have time for shopping. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are, or I did. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Goratu Heranon Maldinest God Enost Ledra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Enost and Ledra, in my case. Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Goratu is my homeworld. Heranon, my clan's country. Maldinest and Got are the city and district where I live. Wow. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Well, I got a license. Uh, that's interesting to me. I can't afford anything else because <laughs> I bought that Spectre Grey pistol. So. Uh, I don't have a few things to sell. I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. I'm a rent -a cop I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. Then all this happened. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. Tell me about Zeus Hope. I can't tell you much about it. You should speak to Fai Dan if you want to know more. What can you tell me about the Geth? Do you have any idea what they might be after? I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. What can you tell me about Exogeny? Very little. I work there as a security officer. I know they were looking for artifacts and anything of value. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. Goodbye. Commander. Oh, get down. Uh, how about tell you to the carnage out there? Oh, no? Okay, fine. 
how about auto overload instead? on the barn. Uh, the barn falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the alpha male, the pack leader of these fellow savages. This old disabled vehicle was more willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one can would expect. Hardy, hardy, hard. I think that's supposed to be funny, but it, it wasn't. It's the sarcastic laughter. There's the transmitter. Bye bye transmitter. And we love it up again. I have one more thing to do down here, and that's to turn the water valve on. Should be an end of direction. Shoot it because it was in the way. Ian Newstead, what are you doing down there? You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be. Anything I shouldn't. No! Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. 
What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm trying to get to the- <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. Maybe I should just put him out of his misery. I've thought about that several times. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? <laughs> Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. <laughs> the more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask my dad. Ask him about the... Ah! Heads up. <laughs> like watching them dissolve. I didn't mean to do that when I get up to this stupid dial. Oh well. My paragon score is like way higher than my when I get score is the max. And you dissolve into a pile of mush. Again, Commander. I killed the big Baron. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, my dad gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. But now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Thank you again. You are most welcome. Oh, another medical interface. Perfect. Now there are three of us are, uh, prepped for the time when we're going to need it. 
Uh, I'm gonna finish off tactical armor for him, so that's almost fully done. And I press that. Maybe I should put it in a basic armor. Just that's for the defense thing. But oh well. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. Now to the Geth base. Not something an intelligent mind expects to see. Well, uh, in truth, actually, these guys, you don't actually have to fight them. The last patch went south. What are they looking for? I'm picking up a comp signal. It's too weak to pinpoint, but there's definitely... We don't want out. to. Just run them over and move on. <laughs> I only fight them during my fight. I always spend time with them. Unless they're like physically in the lake, or I can't move on unless I destroy them. We got movement. Some kind of vehicle. Not one of the Geth. They must be close enough to see us. Dealing with the Geth is more important. Tally! Obviously not Geth. Get back to me, Evan. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Phi Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're survived. Really hit them hard. 
We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you, but I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. How did you get split up from the Zoo's Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zoo's Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. Nothing personal. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferris is a long way from self-sufficient. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Uh, please... Keep your fire to a minimum when you go to the Exogeny building. We want to minimize damage. Oh, and I must inform you that the company will not be responsible for any injuries you sustain while in our facility. You're not much of a people person, are you? I like people. I just like them more when they're helping Exogeny profit. Someone needs to worry about the bottom line. I'm the only one left. Tell me about Exogeny. Please. Exogeny Corp is the premier engine of colonization in the new multi-system economy. And in conjunction with our core interests, exploration provides a broad investment base for shareholders. What are the company's core interests? Exogeny has a number of subsidiary companies in many different fields. The most profitable adapt alien technologies. There are many other industrial branches, but they aren't really relevant to Pharos. Tell me about yourself, John. Me? Yeah, I was sent here to do some routine estimations of the potential return on investment. The attack was certainly a surprise to me. I've been trapped here ever since. <sighs> Can't wait for the home office to get me out this rock. Do you have any idea why the Geth attacked you? None. We're scrambling to find anything of value. There's nothing here to warrant an invasion. There's barely enough here to warrant a colony. I'm going. Please be careful if you go to headquarters. We don't want any unnecessary damage. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. 
All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Do you have any idea what the Geth we're looking for? Uh, that's for smarter men than me to figure out. I have no idea what anyone would want with this ruin. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I say.